Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott, let's keep it simple. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a macro lens for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or whatever smart device you may have for under $5. Now, there are some great companies like Oloclip or Photo Jojo that sell some great macro lens kits for an iPhone or iPod or even other smartphones out there. They work great, but they are pretty expensive. Oloclip has a bundle of three lenses that they sell for $70, while Photo Jojo sells a similar bundle for just $49, or an individual lens for just $20. But there's a way you can get the macro lens for under $5, and some of you cat or dog owners can most likely do this right now for free. Just whip out that laser pointer that you tease your pet with for hours, because when you take it apart, you can use the lens inside as a macro lens. Did you ever think of that? Step one, go out and buy an ordinary laser pointer, 99 cent store, fries, Walmart, and just make sure it is a single lens. Step two, disassemble the laser pointer. You want to find the circular lens inside the laser pointer. So first, spin off the top and bottoms of the lens. Then I place it in a vise and hacksaw the top off until the lens fell out. If you don't have a hacksaw, use sharp scissors, but be careful not to scratch the lens. Step three is to tape the lens to the iPhone. Now granted, this isn't the most ideal setup, but it's pretty freaking simple. Just make sure the tape isn't covering up the front of the lens. Uh, you can use the scotch tape, which I used, and I tore it in half and then I just carefully placed it on there. And kaboom, now you have a macro lens on your smartphone and are ready to take some macro shots. So in the top left are demos of me taking photos with the regular iPhone 4S with no macro lens. And as you can see, the photos are actually a bit blurry. The lens can't focus well when it's so close to something. However, you can see the bottom right iPhone 4S with the macro lens does a much better job of focusing and can actually take some pretty cool pictures with interesting effects. Here are a couple examples of shots with the macro lens. One thing to keep in mind when using the macro lens is you need to be less than an inch away from the subject when you take the photos and you'll have a very narrow range of depth. But it is a cheap solution if you don't want to break the bank. Well, that's all for this simple video. If you liked it, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, liking my Facebook page, or following me on Twitter. I'm Scott, and I'll see you next time.